Hi guys, Glader here, and today I have a video about the RS317 project that I've been working on. And I've got the OpenTK slash OpenGL client running smoothly, Is and the WinForms client's actually running a lot smoother now too. So I've moved on to something more interesting, and something you'll have seen in the title, and that is... Well, I'm doing what my forte is. I'm writing network emulation code initially with the idea that I'm going to uh, interoperate between the RS13 client, almost like a packet proxy, and communicate with a with a uh, backend that is called GlideMMO, and it's a project I've worked on for a while, thousands of commits, and it's going to leverage all that work to bring something I think pretty cool to RS, and maybe I'll talk about that in a little future. But even if that all falls through, the same work that I can that I'm actually doing using my existing emulation libraries that I've worked on for years for network emulation, writing packet bots, packet proxies, all sorts of other stuff. I'm using it to uh, build the packet details. You can see there's actually a login success packet, which just contains some encryption initialization stuff. Very simple packet. I build it like this. Can analyze or can uh, send and receive it at a high level. And so that's what I'm going to be going through and doing. And I just started that now. It'll be all open source. It'll be up on RS317's GitHub. If you want to take a look at it. And this isn't just like some crazy idea. This is what I've done to other games. World of Warcraft, Fantasy Star Online. You know. And I've built libraries and tools just around the concept of this. And in fact, you can see that these uh, serialization attributes are from my own library. Which, if I had free time, I really wish I could go work on. I wanted to get it to compile instead of uh, do it at runtime. But anyway, that's another that's a video, a topic for another video. So yeah, that's what I'm doing, and it's going to be quite interesting. There's not that many packets in RS, but uh, Going through some of them, they're actually quite complex. Uh, World of Warcraft only has like one really complex packet. And trust me, that was a bitch to implement a year ago. Whew. The update packet contains like the whole world's game state. It's ridiculous. Anyway, so that's what I'm working on. And, you know, I've got some other ideas too. But once I get this working and you see some of the things that are possible, I think you'll be excited to hear about my other ideas which are game design related i really want to do something interesting with rs and this is the first step to doing something unique that i think is going to be awesome so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next episode